Now we've got a bit better weather. We're just doing a few jobs down the field. Nice has come to make sure the job's done right. Running man's just going to use the old mower just to top that off, if he can. It's a bit chewed up, as you know, with them running about on this bit. But we want to try and keep this as nice as possible by doing a little bit, maybe every other week or something like that. Because we don't have the equipment to do it all in one go, you know, big tractor or anything like that. And um, it's difficult to get a contractor to come and do our little bit. So we're just fortunate they'll come out now and again and help us out cutting the hedges and removing the muck. They're not going to come out and do a little sort of maintenance thing else. It's not going to be worth their while. As you can see, we've got quite a mole problem, so we're just going to have a little experiment. We've brought our mole traps from home. We've only got two. Renz is going to um, put them in here in the field to see if we can catch, catch a couple. And if we can, then we'll buy some more mole traps, and if we can't, well, we can't. A bit of a struggle for gardening man I'm afraid but I think it'll be worth it well if it isn't we don't need to do it again but I think keeping it keeping the grass down in the air in those areas where they're not eating it I think that's good I think it's a good idea to keep it down if we can because last year it got out of hand and we had to have it bailed and of course we don't get any money for it and in fact it costs us money really we we're in two minds whether to buy a flail mower because we have a little tractor, but of course we have to drive the little tractor here. It is um, licensed to go on roads, and it's free tax, we don't pay any tax, road tax for it. Um, but the flail mowers are, are a couple of thousand pounds, so it's a, big, it's a big decision whether we're going to get the use out of it. That's why we're just sort of keeping it down at the moment, just see how we go. You found a run into their there, Renz? Yep. Oh. What's that? Oh, to find out find where the thing... Find wet road. Holies. Runnies. I can tell. Oh! That went in easy there, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, 
that's, that's, not, a, that's not far underground, is it, that one? No, this is. Oh, is it? You know, with the, well, the, the lumps and that. Oh. Just, you don't think we should yeah. do it then? I think we should. Uh, I just think, get strimmer. I think strimmer. Put blade on and blade out. Yes, that's a good idea. So we've decided lawnmower, um, no. no. Failed, failed experiment, that one. Okay. Plan B, the strimmer. trap in. So you just explain what to... Uh... All right then. Well where there is a big hill, a big mound of earth, the moles tend to make a nest there. And I've just dug down here and I've come across this nest. There's a nice big hole there, big run. Let's get a bit this side. Oh, yes. I don't know if you can see that run there, just there. It goes down there, look, which you can't see really. How many moles do you think would be in there? Well, this is the, the, the uh, dug this to have young this year. Oh. So we've, we've just got it right. Yes. Because then they've got a chance to go to somebody else's field. <laughs> now we've disturbed them. They probably will think it's not safe to have their young there, hopefully. And move away. So we'll just go and dig that other biggish one over there up. Just to see if there's not And hopefully it might just call this right. Yes. So that's nesting material he's just dug out there. That's good. It's got it in time, I think. I think we have to because otherwise we'll be ghosting around. Oh yes. So hopefully they'll go and find another field. 
the babies. Nothing. What about the one behind it? That looks quite big. Ike, don't go out there. Come on. Come in. Good boy. So you can see some well rotted manure there for our roses, as like as we did last year. We're gonna push into we're into truck, that's Renz will do that, he's used to that. <laughs> It's good boy, Ike. Don't you go out there. Ike, no. Come on. Over here. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good lad. Don't you get your paws all poo neither. Come on. Good boy. Now, if anybody watching wants some good rotted manure, we've got plenty and it's free to a good home. <laughs> oh, look, Ike's got some on him, look. It's just, it's just Steve's blowing, put it on top of you, hasn't he? So in the barrow. It's <laughs> gone over top, eh? Oh, oh. And you were all nice and clean, everything. Come on, you. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh. <laughs> That's it, you wipe it off. He's <laughs> going to have a bath when he gets home, aren't you? <laughs> Good boy. How's that then? Can you lift that? Yeah, I've done it before. I think that'll be enough anyway, won't it? Yeah, yes, we don't want to put too much in. <laughs> I've got to it out again. How's that? That's enough, is it? More. Oh, more. More, oh, more, more, more. From last time, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great. Yeah, where's that come from? <laughs> Right, okay. That's good then. Let's go. Yep. Are you satisfied with that, Ikey? Are you satisfied with that? Yes? Is enough? Good. Uh, 
Tomorrow's video is Apollo kicking up his heels in the paddock. Ta-ta for now.